I have had several of you reach out to me asking me to make a video about that email that was recently leaked from Elon Musk to SpaceX employees about a crisis within the company and the threat of possible bankruptcy due to a crisis with the Raptor engine production. So I wanted to first go through what was reported in that article and then also read to you some of the tweets or replies from Elon himself addressing this issue. So we learned about all of this through an apparent company-wide email that was sent out the day after Thanksgiving. In the email, Elon Musk describes a dire situation with the development of the Raptor rocket engines. He says that the Raptor production crisis is much worse than it seemed a few weeks ago. And in this email, he says that SpaceX faces a genuine risk of bankruptcy if we cannot achieve a Starship flight rate of at least once every two weeks next year. I went down to Boca Chica, Texas a few months ago to see the development of Starship in person. This is of course the next generation SpaceX rocket that will take cargo and people on missions to the moon and to Mars. SpaceX is testing those prototypes and it has flown many short test flights but we're of course gearing up for the highly anticipated orbital launch test flight. To move to orbital launches, the rocket prototypes will need as many as 39 of those Raptor engines each. This is of course creating an increase in that engine production. The email also provides more context to the significance of the departure of former Vice President of Propulsion, Will Heldsley, earlier this month. Heldsley was taken off Raptor development before he left, according to CNBC, and Elon noted in his email that the company's leadership has been digging into the program's problems since then and discovering the circumstances to be, quote, far more severe than Elon previously thought. Now, Elon says he originally planned to take the Thanksgiving holiday off to, of course, spend time with family, but after figuring out how bad the situation was, he said that he personally was going to work on the production line from Friday into the weekend. Elon also wrote in the email, we need all hands on deck to recover from what is quite frankly a disaster. And we've learned from previous interviews that Elon has described production as the most difficult part of creating Starship. We're thinking that first orbital test flight of Starship will be in January. And of course, this is not only pending regulatory approval, but also technical readiness. So why is this such a disaster? Well, they need those Starships to be built in order to launch the version two Starlink satellite. Elon says that they have made many improvements with the second version of the Starlink satellite and it's strong, but it can only be launched effectively by its Starship rockets. SpaceX has been launching our current Starlink satellites with the Falcon 9, but Elon has stated that it doesn't have the mass or volume to effectively deploy the second generation satellites. So that of course means that the success of the Raptor engine program also influences the long-term financial stability of SpaceX's Starlink service. Elon says in the email that SpaceX is currently ramping up production of its Starlink antennas to several million units per year, but he says those will be useless otherwise if Raptor does not succeed. And so of course, we turn to Twitter for some answers. But first, Check out this. I thought that this tweet was really quite amazing and I wanted to share it with you. This is the SpaceX Inspiration4 launch endlessly flowing from the pad all the way to orbit. Now this was created by Mars Scientific and it's a composite of multiple tracking telescopes using new techniques to bring out the faintest colors in finest details in 10K resolution. I, I've been sitting here watching this for a really long time. It is just so beautiful and stunning and it's insane to me that this is real. So uh, yeah, just wanted to shout out Mars Scientific and share this with you because I was very excited about it. But back to the program. The Tasmanian tweeted about this genuine risk of bankruptcy and Elon responded by saying, if a severe global recession were to dry up capital availability liquidity while SpaceX was losing billions on Starlink and Starship, then bankruptcy, while still unlikely, is not impossible. GM and Chrysler went bankrupt last recession and then he quotes, only the paranoid survive. So. 
He also tweeted saying that the magnitude of the Starship program is not widely appreciated. He says it is designed to extend life to Mars and the moon, which requires approximately a thousand times more payload to orbit than all current Earth rockets combined. Everyday astronaut Tim Dodd also tweeted about this saying, my understanding of the Raptor production problem is mostly the huge investment in Starship, Starlink 2.0, receiver, and other things relying on Starship. So until Starship flies often, there's a potential cash flow issue and Raptor production is the biggest risk for bottleneck. And Elon replied to this saying, yes, and it's getting fixed. So of course, there's the email, there's the tweets from Elon, and then there's your opinion. So I wanna hear from you guys in the comments. Is this something that you're worried about? What do you think after reading this leaked email? Um, and also, what do you think about Elon's response to this? Do you think that this is just an incentive to uh, you know, boost production and get employees working even harder than they already do? So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. Again, thank you to the viewers who suggested this as a video. I love having a healthy dialogue in the comments with you guys. And of course, thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Your support for the channel really, truly means a lot. And I do not, you do not go unnoticed. So wanted to let you know that. Also, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. I'll be bringing you a lot of content, a lot of stuff that I'm working on, too much stuff. I wish I had time for it all. But thank you to all who are supporting Ellie in space and everyone here who I'm sure is excited about Starship. So that is it for now, but I hope to see you guys soon.